Welcome to our third tutorial on process mining with YAWL. So in the last video we have produced the XCS file and in this video I will show you how to analyze this XCS file with a process mining tool. And we are going to take PROM, an open source tool by the University of Eindhoven for this purpose. And I will put the download link in the supplementary material below. There are also other tools than PROM and we have been using Disco and Celonis in the past. But PROM is of course the easiest to get and maybe not the easiest to handle. Teaching you how to install and use PROM would be beyond this tutorial series. But there is excellent material on the download page. Also there is a PROM user group and there is a MOOC by Yours Boys which is excellent and I will also put the link in the supplementary material. So we will use the XCS file from the last tutorial and we will use PROM to work on it. So let's go. We have our XCS file from the YAWL system open here. So as you can see on the top level we have the element log. So in XCS everything is a log and a log consists of several traces. So we have the trace element here and the value 1 is the case ID in YAWL and then for this trace we have events. Event 1, event 2 and so on and so forth. So we will now load this file into PROM and filter it and do some analysis on it. So I will start PROM here. So this is PROM when it is opened up. We are going to import our tutorial XES file. And here we will take the naive version of it because some of the other versions just don't work. Now we have our log file here and we are going to filter it. In order to apply functions we have to press the play button here. And then we will filter it with something that is called heuristic. Filter log using simple heuristics. That's the one we need. Select and start. Now we get a number of different events or event classes here. Schedule, start, complete and so on. And we are only interested in complete events because we don't want to look at how long someone looked at a form or, or whatever. We just want to see what happened in the process. So what we will do is we will put these all to remove except complete. That's the one we keep. And then we have the start events, we press next, the end events, we press next, and the event filter, we put it to 100%. We want all the events, finish. The result is a file where we have one process, eight cases, and 50 events. We still have some duplicate complete events that is always like this in YAWL so we want to filter those out so we need another filter so we go back to our lists of elements we go to the first one and we apply another filter here and this one is called filter on event attributes filter log on event attribute values. That's the one we choose. And here we have some tabs and we just go to org resource. And the only org resource we have is always the same user. And so we can choose this user and remove everything if this value is not provided and that will eliminate 
our duplicate complete events and we press finish. So now we have one process, eight cases and 25 events. And now we will look at our result. So the first one will be to look at the, vari at the trace variance. We look at the trace variance and you can see now that we have several variants that we can explore here. The next thing is we go to the inductive visual miner And what we can see now is what has been inferred from the log. So we can see that we have eight cases here and these yellow bubbles are actually the cases that go through this diagram. The plus sign is a parallel split. And then we have four cases where cancel requirement was executed. This corresponds to the list we have seen. We have four cases with defined software development project and four cases with prepare software procurement. Then we have two cases where the project has effectively been started. The other two are the ones that have been cancelled here. And then we have two cases with approved proposition, two cases without approval because they have been below the threshold and one case with prepare purchase order. From this filtered log to start with a data aware heuristic miner. So we have to put a different selection here and we enter data. And we say we take the data causal net and down here the data aware configuration we select the estimated cost and now we can see that we have formulate requirement complete prepare software procurement complete and we can select these bubbles here below and then we can see for example here we do cancel requirement complete if the estimated cost is less or equal to 95,000. And we go to approve proposition complete when the estimated cost is greater than 95,000. And this is not the exact value of our selection rule, which was at 100,000, but this is what has been inferred from the log because the original specification is unknown, of course, here. And in the same way, after defining software development project, we have estimated cost greater 80,000, and the other path is estimated cost less or equal to 80,000. So this is another way of analyzing our log. And Last but not least, I want to show you the fuzzy miner. So again, we put in fuzzy here. And we accept all the default parameters. And now we can see formulate requirement complete, define software development complete, and so on. So this very much corresponds to our original YAWL model. And of course, anything that hasn't been used from the original net can also not be in our log and in this model we have here. And the fuzzy model, for example, says that after prepare software procurement, approve proposition, then we have prepare purchase order. 25 is a good number to stop. So this concludes our regular series on YAWL tutorials. We haven't covered everything. So 
If you have any questions or you want tutorials on specific topics, please do not hesitate to ask us. Bye-bye.